Hello, I'm Sky Mangrum for HowToRunBarefoot.com, and today we are out running, and this is where we are, gravel roads, and this is what we are testing. Hello, feet. These are the Vibram Five Finger KSOs, and I would like to make a short video while I'm out today about uh, two advantages and two disadvantages of using the Vibram Five Finger shoes for your barefoot running training. And I know it sounds weird using shoes for your barefoot running training, but bear with me. All right, so one of the advantages would be roads like this in really, really rough and rugged terrain. Um, if you're just starting to run barefoot and you decide to take off down a gravel road, it can really injure your feet. We're talking like black and blue and blisters and, and all kinds of goodness. Um, so they really come in handy uh, in the beginning. Um, but a disadvantage, I'm going to tell you, is uh, I can still feel, you know, all of the rocks beneath my feet here. Um, each individual rock under my feet. So, you really do have to work on keeping your landings soft and light, especially when running on the gravel roads, and keep it midfoot. Don't pound with the ball of your foot, and of course, don't land on the heel. Um, so, another advantage of using the Vibram um, is really, really hot weather and hot days. Uh, if you check out my Facebook page, um, I have photographs up of a run that I took on a really, really hot afternoon, and it's just whoo, blisters all over the bottom of the feet, and it's from the hot pavement just frying your feet. So Vibram's come in really handy to help you uh, with your schedule so you can run whenever it is you have time to run, especially if it's in the, the middle of the day or a time when the road is going to be really, really hot. They'll protect your feet. Now, a disadvantage of the Vibram is that they can, uh, I found early on, help you cheat your form. Um, you can land on your heel and not notice you're doing it, whereas if you're completely barefoot, you don't notice that. And also, um, if your straps, these, I'm going to show you, if these straps are, uh, are too tight, you got to pull back your toes and then strap them down but still give yourself some room, um, you can experience some shin pain here from an incorrect landing. So if you use the Vibram once or a couple of times and you have pain, um, my suggestion is that you go completely barefoot until you're secure with, your, with the barefoot running form um, so you don't cheat yourself. Because when you're completely barefoot, you cannot cheat yourself. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this little video and um, you can give the Vibrams a try if you haven't already. They're, they're fun and cute, uh, but my recommendation is to be barefoot, um, at least in the beginning and while you're learning. So go early in the morning or late in the afternoon until you find that form and then use them as a tool to help you and not a crutch. So I hope you've enjoyed this little video and uh, thank you for watching. Oh, and if you enjoyed it, you can check out the website. Um, there's some free books, things that I'm giving away there um, at howtorunbarefoot.com. Uh, it's got things to carry in your little med kit, music for life, um, and also ways to avoid injury and uh, things you can do to help with the swelling and things like that so that you don't hurt yourself and you can get out really quickly when you're first starting to run barefoot. So thank you for watching.